All right, this is Leah from Free Spirit Farm Sanctuary and Rocky Mountain Critter Club. I'm fixing to pull the P. Audax sack, or the bold jumping spider, as its common name is. Um, they're found all throughout the, well, pretty much all throughout America, really. They're a larger species of jumping spider. And I actually, uh, basically I caught the mother, which is actually still in the container with the uh, babies, and the fathers, and I wanted to experiment with breeding jumping spiders a little bit. And sadly, both of the fathers have since passed away. One was eaten by the female during copulation. The other was, well, jumping spiders have short lifespans, similar to that of praying mantis. So basically, he died of old age. Now, they live about a year, two years, depending on the species. And basically, I just wanted to see what it would take to breed them. And it's actually fairly similar to breeding tarantulas. And I'm going to pop the lid off here. I'm pulling the sack on tile in case we get some skitterers jumping out so that I can catch them fairly easily. As you can see right there, that is the actual nest. And I took a peek in here yesterday and I saw a few spiderlings. So. She attached it to the nest, and if you can see down there at the bottom, say hi, little mama. See your little green fangs? And that is the mother of the spiderlings. And she is actually a very good little protective mother, and she looks like she might be ready to jump out at us. So I'm going to go ahead and put that with the cap over it again. And see if I can't balance something to where. I can open the sack and still have the camera going. There we go. Now, I'm trying to open it without damaging any of the little spider links. See all those little black dots? All those are little baby jumping spiders. And the camera quality isn't very good, but if you watch close enough, you can actually see them moving. They're actually green as babies. I don't know if you can actually see that or not. But they're adorable. And I figured y'all would enjoy seeing that. And this is... There's probably hundreds of them in there. So I definitely just upped the ante for the population of jumping spiders, but it'll help get rid of some of our flies, which, as you can see, they're pretty well everywhere. Well, I'm going to go let these guys out in the backyard now, but I figured you guys would want to see the little cuteness of the baby PR doxes. I'll probably end up setting the mother free as well. Basically, all that I did for breeding was I put them all together in this tube container, which, as you can see, is basically the same container one would use for a um, for something like a arboreal tarantula, and they kind of did their own thing. Obviously, she wasn't ready with the first male, but she was with the second male. And the lovely little black splotches are the result. Well, green, but they look black on camera. Hopefully I'll be able to get a better camera here soon so that I can get better videotape of small stuff like that. But, hope you all enjoyed it. Hopefully Tuesday I'll get you all a good video of horse pregnancy tests if the vet approves it. And... That's pretty much all I have to say on that one. Thanks for your time.